Jane had her first sleeping pill when she was 17. It started with one, but rose into an addiction she couldn't let go. And as she grew older, alcohol came into the mix, hoping to amplify the drug's potency. And I was taking it any time of the day. There was a numbing effect, there was a runaway effect. Jane, where have you been? Do you know what time it is? You're 28. What are you doing with your life? Look, if you're just going to come back late every single time, might as well don't come back at all. Get out of my house! Jane left the cold emptiness she called home, and with it came a price. Constantly, I was worrying about money. I borrowed, I lied, I was spending more than I should and spending more than I earned. There were a lot of repercussions of that. In hopes to fuel her addiction and a lifestyle she couldn't afford, Jane resorted to money laundering, thus sending her into the dark confines of prison. Uh, you, you have no sense of belonging. You just feel that no one's got your back. The minute I left prison on the day that I was released, it was on the same day that I went into another institution. I went into IMH. Jane was diagnosed with depression and had nowhere to go. Faith was bleak, and the pressure had driven her suicidal. I had no hope, I had no direction, I didn't know where to start from. And I didn't want to go back home, and that was how um, I found eye care. When I interviewed her, um, she shared that she couldn't go back because she had some um, conflictual issues which are very deep-rooted with her family. So as a result, I decided to um, get her out of IMH to come to I care. So she was very distraught, of course. It's a circular place for a woman's shelter, a hope for recovery, providing counselling, job placements, and even a means to mend broken ties. I don't think I can write to them, Sister Grace. Not yet. Jane, your parents really do care for you. It's just... It's just that they don't. It's getting late. I'll write it tomorrow. I think at the end of the day, there's only a temporary shelter. So after... A while staying here, what's next? I think eventually everybody has to go back to Good the night, family. Sister Grace. Good night, Jane. Hello. How is my daughter? Is she okay? Is she eating well? Yes, she is. Please fix her for us. Fix? Sorry, but Jane is not the problem. Then what is? Every child is different. Each requires a different form of nurture. But Jane's parents had only one goal in mind. Jane, stop playing around. Come here and do your homework like your brother. And... Jane, what was your test score? Hmm? What was it? B minus. Look at your brother. A plus. Why can't you just be more like him? Jane, you come back here right now and do your homework. Don't you want to score A's and stop being such a failure? 
Fear. I had a lot of fear. A lot of fear about my home. I, I was fearful of the uh, expression. I was very fearful of the environment. My parents, they had, they had really high expectations. And when I felt I couldn't do it, I just went the other extreme way. Good morning, Jane. Welcome to the company. Glad to have you on board. So what this job will entail is mainly clientele engagement. You know, meet with them, go out and have a chat, convince them to buy some of our products. Yeah. Easy stuff, shouldn't be a problem. Upon entering eye care, Jane had risen from her work as a cashier to a full-time job in sales. But in this new environment, temptations, resurfaced. I don't want to go back to the old path. It wasn't beautiful, it wasn't nice, and uh, it was wrong. Is this what you really want? I know you're trying to be better. Don't let all your efforts go to waste. You have people here who believe in you. What is left is for you to believe in yourself. If you keep letting this guilt eat you up, you never move forward. So it's time to let go, to make things right. Letting go of the past doesn't mean you forget about the past. Letting go of the past means you remember the past, you learn, but you let go of all the bad feelings. Once you learn how to let go and forgive yourself and accept that those are past, without the past you will not be what you are today. And today is the day that you start making things right. There's always hope, no matter how many times you fail. I've gone back to it, I've relapsed. But there's always hope. And as long as you don't give it up, you just don't give up on yourself, yeah. How long have you been clean so far? From alcohol around two months. Prescription drugs, it's been for four years. And cigarettes since December 8th, last year, till now. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? Happy. Very, it's an accomplishment, uh, knowing that there are things that I can make right.